Okay, good morning. Welcome to Always in Stitches. It's Thursday, almost Christmas. Are we ready for Christmas? Have you got all your Christmas shopping done, Peter? I haven't started. <laughs> oh, I feel better. I haven't either. I've I still have till the 23rd. I know, I know. Well, at our store, you have till the 22nd because we're going to be closed the 23rd. But yeah, it's... Hmm. It's, it's snuck up off. It's got cold, though, finally, so it's cold. It feels like winter, but it didn't feel like winter, so if you didn't get your Christmas shopping done, I'm going to give you some great ideas for Christmas shopping, because um, mine's not done either, but I don't have a lot to buy for, so it makes it kind of easy. Um, I'm in our Joy classroom. If you've ever taken a class in this room, you know it's a lovely, large, spacious room, and on the walls in here, we have hanging several uh, vintage quilts. These have been um, donated to us at no cost to us, but people um, found them and didn't know what they were or uh, didn't know who they belonged to. They didn't want them put in the landfill. They didn't want to throw them away. They didn't want to take them to another charitable organization, that, but rather they brought them here because honestly they just didn't know what else to do with them. And we've accumulated quite a few quilts and, and some of them um, are not getting displayed because all these are on the walls. So we've decided that we're going to start selling some of these and have the proceeds go to Quilts of Valor. And um, then that way we can bring more out that we've had donated so you can see them. So um, you'll find in the Joy Classroom, if you want to come in and look, there'll be a tag on it that'll say Quilt for Sale. There'll be a price on it. These are vintage quilts, so they're loved. They're, they're not brand new. They're not patterns that we can get. They're not <laughs> able to be replaced or replicated, but they've still got, you know, some wear in them. And I know a lot of people like to decorate with these old quilts. Um, so we're just trying to kind of give them a new life and a new home and potentially, um, you know, make a little money for Quilts of Valor. So if you want to look at these quilts, these are on our website, um, the ones that are for sale. And um, I hope you'll take a moment and consider if you are looking for a Christmas gift, maybe for somebody that doesn't have any idea what they want, a vintage quilt might be the perfect thing. And then the proceeds will go to a great organization that really does a lot for our veterans. And um, so and it will stay local. We're going to be able to connect with our local Quilts of Valor chapter and see that the money gets to them. So anyway, just wanted you to see. I don't know if Peter can maybe scan around and show them the room, but there's some pretty quilts in here. Um, I think this would be a great gift for Christmas with a little extra charitable thing on the side. So it would give, give a double give, right? I think that's the way to say it, double giving. So that's Quilts of Valor. Now we're going to go out front. Hopefully they're done with their morning chores running the sweeper and that. We're going to do some video out there and show you what's new in the shop. Okay, here we are out on the sales floor and it's before the shop opened. This is like watching the elves get ready for Christmas morning because the staff is all scurrying around and running the sweeper and wiping down surfaces and, you know, getting everything ready for you guys to show up and shop today. So um, it is kind of like what happens in Santa's workshop. Um, but what I wanted to show you was a couple things. First of all, a fabric line here. We'll talk about the fabric in just a minute, but it's so pretty, I gotta prepare you for it. Um, but I wanted to show you something we've put together as a gift bag. This is, we're gonna call a bag of quilting goodness. And this would, everything in here would retail for around $99. Um, there's a ruler, there's a stiletto, there is diagonal seam tape. Let's lay them out here on top of this lovely fabric. Diagonal seam tape. There's a seam ripper. There is some flatter, which is a great product. There are some wonder clips. There's some little, these look like mouse ear cleaners, but they're actually cleaning brushes for your sewing machine. And there's a friction pin. So these are all things that any sewist that's either beginning or even one who's been sewing for a while could use these items. Um, friction pins, we're always needing those. I don't know, I, I've, I don't know how many of these I've gone through. But under, wonder clips, you never have enough wonder clips. You always need cleaning brushes. Um, this stiletto tool, if you haven't used this stiletto tool before, oh my gosh, you're going to fall in love with it. Diagonal seam tape, same thing. This is something that, that every quilter can use. And seam ripper. A lot of times people don't realize that their seam ripper gets dull and needs replaced. So get them a new seam ripper. And then this little ruler is just the bomb. So all these are put together in a bag for you. And they're ready to go uh, for $79.99. 
We can wrap them individually if you'd like and put it together in a package and ship it to your favorite person. But I'm just telling you, this is the bomb. Christmas right there. There's your whole Christmas. It's a bag of quilting goodness for $79.99. And you've got almost $100 worth of merchandise in that little bag. So love this for Christmas. The other thing is, if you've got a traveler, this is a book that we've just got in. It's called Needle Traveler. It's only a $10 book. It's, it's inexpensive. But all the quilt shops and, and needle kind of working shops are listed in here for across the United States. This is the best reference. If you've got somebody, you know, traveling around, great, great book to have um, in your glove box because you can always find a shop that you're looking for no matter where you travel. So I love that little book. Um, okay, enough about that stuff. Let's talk about fabric. I'm going to move this over here. Peter, do you like this line? I do. I do too. You're going to see why here in a minute. So look what we have. This is from the Dear Stella Company. It's called Croc My World. Now, it's croc, like alligator, crocodile kind of thing. But it has flamingos, which I love flamingos. And these are well drawn. They've got a sweet little face. Um, lovely color. There's several colorways in this. There's lots of pieces. So we're going to kind of scan through them here. Um, look at this seat, this turtle. So y'all know I went on vacation for a week. We didn't do a video. Sorry. You, you were asking, where's our video? But I was in Marathon, Florida, in the Florida Keys, and I went to the... Um, sea turtle rescue hospital that they have down there and learned all about sea turtles and so this is just the little perfect fabric for me to come back and see on the shelf when we come in I was excited um, so there's sea turtles and then they have some really good kind of go withs on this they're they're dots there's like an aqua this kind of seafoam green there's pink you'll see other colors but look how pretty this is that would be the prettiest Easter dress and there's a piece down here that goes with it too. There's an orange. Look at this. Look how that pops against that. I love it. These dots are perfect. Um, and then we got the flamingos again with the pink ground because you never can have enough flamingos. A nice palm fronds too. The palm fronds and the great big leaves look good with it. And their legs bent the right way. I bought I bought some flamingo fabric one time just because the leg was bent the wrong way. It made me laugh. So then we have the dots and pinks. And then look at this. And that would make a good Easter dress. I think crocodiles on an Easter dress would be very cute. Especially in Florida. Hey, yeah, if you were in Florida, what perfect. Or it's a Floridian Easter. It's a Floridian Easter, yeah. <laughs> or um, a quilt. This would be this would do a great turning 20 quilt. Oh my goodness. Some more of the dots. Here's oranges. I mean, this is definitely a Florida line. Look at the oranges. That's so cute. You got somebody in Florida needs a quilt. Um, and then again, we have our dots to do it. And then come around here. And but wait, there's more. A great stri stripe that's printed on the diagonal. So if you don't want to bias cut, you can do straight cutting, which for some people is helpful. Here's another floral. This has like I would call that a hummingbird just because it's cute and it's little. And you know what I'm going to do with this? English paper piece. English paper piece. I'm not going to use the three-quarter inch ones you talk about, but I might you do mean with the one three-eighths inch. inch. Yeah, the little bitty ones. Look at this piece. This one is like the ice spy. There's a gecko. There's a parrot. There's pineapple. I don't know what that is. Of course, the flamingos. This would be great for that smaller English paper piece. Scene. Right, yeah. Oh, look at that pineapple. Isn't that pretty? Just right there in the center. That would English paper piece beautifully. And this does have a mirror image thing, so this would probably make a really cool stack and whack, too. More dots. Pineapples. Pineapples are always good. Dots, dots. Here we have the printed background. I love this piece. We were looking at it, and there's, like, she's walking through the woods. She's on a little swing, swinging. It's got birds in it. And it's on such a pretty teal color. I don't know. That that might be my favorite piece. I can't decide. <laughs> They're so pretty. This is a great colorway. Kudos to Dear Stella for what a good job they did. Um, oh, put that in there. And then here's the geckos. Look how fun those are. These little geckos with their yellow eyes. 
I love it. This is just a great line. Lots of good solids. And we do have a wide back for it in those dots. So you could definitely make a whole quilt. I'm going to have to look. I have a suspicion, Peter observed, that potentially we have got a pattern that's going to come in to make this complete. So that's the fabric that's come in. December we don't get a lot of stuff in so because we're kind of slowing down for the year end so I want to talk to you about classes um, we don't have any more fabric this week but there's 18 boxes I think on the back table that came in today so we'll definitely have a lot of fabric for you in next week what's new video but let's go over and talk about classes those of you who like Peter and I have not done your Christmas shopping here's a great way to get a Christmas present uh, classes I think one of the best things you can give somebody for Christmas is a class because it's the gift that gives to the whole year and they get something out of it. Think about it. They, they get interaction with other people and they get to make a project and take it home. So if you pay for the class, it's really a good deal for the consumer. Um, we've got some really cool classes coming. This one especially has caught my eye because if you've been to any of Jamie's classes, you know how fun they are. And this is her wall hanging slow stitch movement and then she's calling these like drizzles you do layers of fabric and then you embellish it I this is so cool very fun this is in February so you got some time but I know this one's gonna fill up I feel sure Matter of fact this is one I'd love to take she's so talented so that's Jamie's class coming in February. If you want to come in and see those samples, you can see those. Jeez. Right, I don't break them up. Then another class starting in January. This is the cartonnage classes. So if you've done any of the classes of the cartonnage, this is solid. This is like a solid piece of balsa wood maybe or I don't know what she uses but she makes it so that they're functional pieces you choose your fabric and this is like a little storage thing I can just see this sitting on somebody's desk you know with little goodies on it um, that class is Jan's cartonnage storage caddy and it's January 12th so you got some time you can get that one then this one I love this hat pattern this is from Janet this is a knitted hat and it's a slip stitch diamond hat is what it's called this is in three sessions that you'll make this January 16th 23rd and February 6th um, so this is a pretty cool one I like I like this one too I think that's a fun one another good class which one have I not talked about Jamie's drizzle Janet's cartonnage oh floating cabin this one right up here so this one is um, by Julie Rushberger's teaching it. It's the floating Cla cabin class, and it has three sessions to it: January, uh, two in February. It's in the evening. So those of you who are looking for an evening class, this is a great beginning quilt class. Uh, she's going to teach you some basic quilting techniques, and um, it's a small project, so you could make it for a wall hanging. You could make it for a table cover. Um, you could make it for a little baby quilt. It'd be perfect for a baby quilt done in baby colors. So there you go. That's that class. Knitted hat, floating cam, cartonnage, drizzle. And then I'm going to be starting in March of 24, which is a little ways away, but it'll sell out, is uh, doing some of the bags. I did Cappy's a Bag series this past year. Next year we're going to start in March. We're going to do Cappy's a Bag again, and we're going to do the Biani patterns. So if you come in um, the first part of the year, we'll have a trunk show that you can see all the projects we're going to make for 2024. And uh, I got a suspicion we'll have a lot of people sign up for that because you can do it online or in-store. It's not an in-store only class. And then the other program we have going is our Aura Filler Up. This is a great, great deal. I can't tell you how many people come in and say, can I get in this? For $199.99 plus tax, you get to pick out 12 spools of thread, three yards of fabric, and it all the uh, thread will be in a container box that you can keep track of all your Aurifil thread. That's a bargain and a half because if you know the Aurifil thread has become very expensive. So that program, you come in once a month starting January 1st, and you pick out a thread and a fat quarter, and then you come in the next month and you pick out a spool of thread and a fat quarter. We have over 270 colors colors of Aurifil thread in a 40 weight or a 50 weight and you can choose the weight you want um, either either size so that's a really good club to join a lot of our staff joins that club just because it's a it's such a good buy even for them with with their discount so 
that takes care of that. Now, let's talk about when we're going to be open. Peter's going to get a vacation. <laughs> and so it's all be ready else on staff. Three day weekend. Three day weekend. So December 23rd, 24th, and 25th, we will be closed. That's three days in a row, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, right there at Christmas. The website's always open and you can order gift cards on there at any time. But we will be closed to walk in shopping those three days. Um, we are going to be open January 1st. A little teaser, something fun's coming for January 1st because we will be open that day all day. So Somebody tried to pin me down and beat it out of me what we were doing. Aww. You know who don't you hurt, are. Don't hurt Peter. Don't you hurt know, Peter. You know who you are. Does she come in on Saturday mornings and knit? Probably. <laughs> I think I know who it is. Well, anyway, there is something coming, and if you get our email, then you'll find out this Saturday what it is. So if you haven't signed up for our email, email go to our website, www.alwaysandstitches1.com, sign up for our email, and you'll find out about this event coming January 1st, which you're going to want to be here. Let me just mark the day off. Plan to spend it with us. Um, but we will be closed the 23rd, 24th, 25th. So just put that on there too because, you know, that panic at, on Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas Eve when you need something, we won't be here. We're going to be home with our families and enjoying the holiday. And I think, having said that, we're about done. It's sweet. short and sweet. Short and sweet. Peter's sweet. hands will get tired. Um, watch the floss stitch that he and, he and Lenine's video to floss stitch. And floss be, tube, yeah. Floss tube, and it'll be up in the next day or two. So Already up. Already up. Okay, so go to yep. floss tube if you want to know the cross stitch of wool and yarn and kind of back there. They do that in those videos. I kind of do the front end with the floss tube with this video. So watch them both because Peter and Lenine are much more entertaining than I am for sure. We giggled when he was editing the, the video. We giggled a lot back there listening to him. So be sure you watch the floss tube. Otherwise, have a happy, happy holiday. We will be back at least one more time before Christmas, and I hope everything's going well. If you need to do some shopping, call us. We'll help you out. Happy stitching.